So when I was a girl, I was in love with science. I would pursue things like science fair camp, and I was one of two girls in a class of 40 boys. It felt like, why aren't other girls doing this? Maybe I'm pursuing the wrong thing because my peers aren't in this class with me. The industry of game design is a great example where it's heavily male dominated, and then we're only getting one side of the story, and we're only seeing one product being produced by one perspective. There have been some studies that basically say girls have a different learning style than boys and sometimes it's hard for them to learn and feel comfortable to ask questions when they're around boys or in a mixed group. Now we're going to go to the wall and we're going to do command V for paste. So we'll probably want to have you resize that so we'll do command T. The Miss Media Camp is really important so that these girls can get exposed to STEM fields. Um, STEM is science, technology, engineering and math, um, and they're really underutilized areas for women in particular. We brought in some special guests from Chicago, from all around Michigan, very strong women who have media careers. Every day we'd introduce them to a new professional person or faculty member, and they would get to interact and learn the skills as well as have this wonderful opportunity to be mentored and learn what it's really like. Thank you, Delphine Maddox. What is it like to attend media camp at Michigan State University and learn about television production? We'll find out today as we meet two Michigan State Uni University media campers. Why don't you like him? He is so cute. I'll act, I'll act like I'm him. On Monday, students were filming HD films with iPads. Tuesday, students were designing and making their own websites. Wednesday, they did an activity with game design. Thursday in the morning they were learning about 3D animation and did 3D printing and in the afternoon they started with television production. On Friday they did more television production and live TV recording as well as they were in the recording studios and learning about audio engineering. So if we can get more girls to see what it's like to be a game designer and developer or to have those voices and those stories be told, then I think we're going to see just a whole market explode with this creative energy that's made by having that other voice there, which is women's voices.